Since time immemorial, people of wisdom have understood the power of stories to influence us at the very deepest level through our imaginations. We were founded in 1997. Our Theatre Without Walls project delivers uh, small-scale, high-quality and high-impact stage performances inspired by Muslim heritage stories and stories of wisdom from other faiths to a multi-sector network of host partners around the country. They paraded their largesse like peacock feathers, eager to get the attention not of the poor, the poets. Most of us are used to elaborate films. Watching a performance where it's just one person and everything else is conveyed and painted through the power of words, that's a unique experience. In many parts of the country, we have high levels of disengagement from culture and arts. We aim to be very inclusive in the type of diverse audiences that we reach. With the approach of Theatre Without Walls, we're actually going to them where they are. How do you take a story that's even a thousand years old and make it speak for today? The oral language is very different to, to the written. A lot of research that goes behind the whole process. Sometimes I could find a story which is very basic on the page and then I've got to make it live. And the trees grew closer, darker, until the only sound was the call of the birds hemmed in by the ancient forest. I was there. You disappear into another world. There were times when I have to control my tears. It's an excuse for people to come together, but also to hear some very powerful messages that are very relevant today, even though that they originated you know, hundreds of years ago. As a child, I always loved listening to stories. I think because of the social values they actually taught me, and I think this evening brought that back to me. I use my proficiency in Arabic and Farsi and Urdu to effectively mine those literatures for stories of dramatic potential and help this civilizational dialogue take place between East and West in a way which becomes symmetrical. He was mean. All he cared about was making money. Money, 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 money. The more money Abu Qasim could get, the happier he was. Storytelling can actually support our moral development, our cultural development. Oh, help me, sir. It is Eid, and I have to get back to my family. You think I'm foolish? It is in the snake's nature to bite man and to poison him. Before I begin working on this story, I don't quite know where the story is going to take me or what experiences I'm going to have. They come about through being in the moment of living with that character. When the world is so full of war, it is hard not to be hostile. But we must make peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called the children of God. All of our stories, whether they come from Muslim heritage or Christian or Jewish or Hindu or Sikh, are very rich in their advocacy of character virtues. It's quite empowering for people when they're thinking about big questions in relation to climate change, disease, poverty, inequality and peace. Our Christian neighbours treated us with respect and allowed us to worship in peace. Often in the media we hear that Muslims were not tolerant of other faiths. I think the story is so important in the way that it portrays and combats the stereotypes often perpetuated about Islam. I was thinking about my home. Outside my window, I could hear this song, a, a bird song, some strange night bird. It had a song of three long notes. 
was the loneliest sound I'd ever heard. Every story is like climbing a mountain and it's very hard and it gets easier and it gets more wonderful because as the higher you go, you see the view. A storyteller needs to find the keys to take people into the story because the story is theirs. Science tells us today that people listening to stories are actually communicating with each other at a subliminal, subconscious level. It's so powerful that they actually harmonize their heartbeats. That's the incredible thing about storytelling, which makes it such an essential medium for societies and civilizations.